Jeff here, and it's a new day, and that means it's a new review. Today we will be reviewing The Power of the Primes, Leader Class, Evolution, Optimus Prime. There he is, and here we go. Let's go with the first thing that's off of our checklist, and that's going to be the packaging. So let's go ahead and move this guy right on over here. And let's take a look at the packaging. So let's go ahead and raise this up real quick. So let's go ahead and raise this camera. And let's take a look at the packaging. On the front here we have a picture of Optimus here looking all mighty and powerful. Then we have the Power of the Primes, Leader Class, Evolution, Optimus Prime, the Autobot logo, Hasbro, Aegis for eight and up, Transformers, and then it does have the generation here, and then it does have in the background here, shows all 12 primes, even though there's 13 primes altogether, but it shows the 12 original primes. On the right here, we do have another picture where it does say Power of the Primes, choose your prime. And then it does have all 12 primes that you can get from the Power of the Primes uh, stuff for it. And then it does have the authentic logo on it. And then on the right side here, we do have a picture of... Orion Pax, which is Optimus before he became a Prime. So Orion Pax, Power of the Primes, Generations on the top here. It does say Power of the Primes again, and then it does say Choose Your Prime. And then it lets you see like the Prime and from the top. On the bottom here we do have words and so forth along with the barcode and another authentic logo saying that it's an authentic transformer. On the back here we do have the pictures of the product and different firms and shapes. And it does give a little short story of Orion Pax, how he becomes Optimus Prime, so there we go, we have Optimus Prime, there we have Orion Pax, and then how you combine Orion Pax to this to become him, and then down under it has the cab of the truck, and then the trailer attached to it, along with some accessories, and then in this corner it does say, have the Primes, choose your Prime, and then it does show that you can take the Matrix of Leadership out, and put in different Prime powers, which the one that's in him right now would be my Cronus and then Vector Prime, Leech Maximo, and then it does say Prime Masters for uh, figurines, uh, each sold separately, subject to availability. And then it does say not for kids three and under because of it being a choking hazard, so let's not let our kids choke on them, please. And that's it for the packaging, as I said before. Let's go on ahead and get to the next thing off of a list, and that is going to be our good old Optimus here. Let me bring this camera down real quick. So let's go on ahead and bring it on down to right about there. And here we have him in his truck mode. Let's go on ahead and take the trailer off as we can take a quick look at the trailer here we do have a lot of like gray silver right here along with the sticker that they apply to it with the Autobot logo it is got wheels it is painted in blue along the wheel hub and then on the front as you can see the top of uh, Optimus there the gun Autobot logos, the forearms of Optimus along with the shoulders. So you do have that kibble right there. And the, there we go, hitch cam down. And then we do have some more silver on the top. And then on the back there we do see the bottom of his feet for the back of the trailer, which would be like the doors. And then on the other side, same thing. On the bottom we do see... Everything from the feed on up basically for Optimus and there we go and You can attach it right there. Let me just straighten that out. There we go 
and a little hole goes the hitch and he does roll like all things are supposed to in the vehicle and then here we go with the cab of the truck we do have black tires black wheels the only thing that I see that they could have done was the uh, front tires could have been made the same way as the back but hey whatever on the front you do have Silver grill, silver bumper, yellow lights, transparent blue windshield, you do have the silver windshield wipers, you do have the silver mirrors here for the side mirror, but hey, it's like that on both. Silver outline on the side window, you do have some silver there. The rest of it is painted in red right here. Yes, yeah, so you do have the cable from the Orion Pax figure right here, along with the hands right there, and then the cable of his head right there. And then if you look straight down, it's kind of hard to see, but it's the uh, legs of Orion Pax. So you do have silver right there to kind of outline it as being a bed of the truck. It is painted in blue as well. You do have the silver gray looking gas can gas tank on both sides and that's it for the truck you can open it up in truck mode to take out the matrix of leadership which is right here it is one of the accessories that does come with it and you can see that it is transparent blue from it it does come out, so therefore, like I said on the packaging, you can push it out. To put another one in if you want, so like the one that comes with Grimlock here, you can easily just slide that on in. And now you have the Dinobot Matrix right there with the thing that holds the matrixes but hey it's a thing you can even put the titan masters from titans return up in here if you want like megatron if you want to make it like optimus kill megatron and put him up in there hey you can it's a toy you can do it as you please and then you just put it back in there shut the doors there we go with mine, these tend to come loose, and let me just fix that up. Now, some people say that you can take right here and here with these spots here and here, and just adjust it a certain way, and just slide it up in there. Like so. Same thing with this one. You bring it out a bit. And just slide it up in there. And there we go. You have it more like that. Once again, it's a toy. You can do whichever way you want to do with the arms. Now that I look at it like that, it might be more better to have it like that. Let's see. Eh, kinda, kinda not. Let's see how he sizes up against other Optimus Primes that's from different lines. Like this one is the Optimus from Siege, which is the Voyager class. As you can see, it is a little bit shorter. Here he goes with the... Optimus Prime from Titan's Return, right there, that I had repainted, and now it's missing part of the smokestack, I just now noticed that. Um, and then with the trailer on, there's the big difference, it would be like having two of these back to back basically here he is next with titan's return leader class 
Optimus Prime, as you can see, he is a little bit longer. If we put him on top, you can see. But all in all, it's about the same size. And then here he is next to Cedrus Leader Class Optimus Prime Galaxy Upgrade. As you can see, about the same size as well. It came off again, there we go. As you can see, about the same length, about the same width and everything as well. And then last but not least, next to Siege's Commander Class Jetfire. As you can see, if you want them to be more scale accurate, That would be more scale accurate, I guess. So let's go on ahead and move all this out of the way real quick. And let's go on ahead and get on to the transformation of this leader class, Power of the Primes, Optimus. First things first, what we will do is go on ahead and bring this section here on up like so and it will tab in right there in between right there as you can see same thing with this one just bring it on up bring it on through there we go and what we will do now is just go on ahead and it's on a double hinge joint basically so what you're gonna do is bring it back as you can see, there's the joint. Bring it on around. Like so. And there we go. Bring this one back and out. And forward. Swing it around. So you got that. Like it's got eyes looking at you. And then what you're going to want to do now is go on ahead and untab this part from there. Bring the arms around. Bring this one on out, bring it on around, bring the hands on down, like so, and then twist this section around at the bicep. Same thing with this one, bring the hand on down, and rotate at the bicep. And then what I do is normally bring the leg section down, bring this head piece up with the chest, and then bring the head on back. There we go. And then go on ahead, rotate them, bring the feet on forward, the toes. It'll be easier if you just go right here like that and pull it on down. And there we go. And there he is. And let's go on ahead and get the accessories. As you can see, the matrix of leadership is behind this and you would have to open that to get it out. And behind his chest piece, as you can see, is Optimus's head. We'll get to that later. And there he goes. And then, as always, a Transformer always has to have some type of weapon, somehow, some way. So the accessory, which is this Ion Blaster Rifle, which is right here, does come apart like so. So now you have two pistols or blasters or whatever you want to call them it's kind of a tight fit with mine I really don't care because I don't really have him in this evolution mode trying to get him to stand there we go so there we go there goes this guns one of them right there the other one right there but let's just take them off for now and go on ahead and combine them back like so there we go now let's go on ahead and take a look at him we do have for his face he has painted the face and Silver, he does have like a sky blue neon eyes. His helmet is 
painted in a dark blue, so like an Optimus Prime's blue, and then on the neck part it is painted in like a silver gray, then we do have the transparent light blue for the chest piece, we do have some yellow right underneath that transparent blue on the chest piece, and then we do have some silver for the abdomen, he is painted primarily in red for the torso, and then for his hips basically, and right there on the crotch it is painted in red along with the back, you do have the silver, then the yellow lights along with the kibble for Optimus, which is transparent blue, red, on the shoulder down to the Form. It is painted in red, all except for the elbow piece right there, which is painted in silver. And then we do have blue hands for him, which there's something that I kind of mad about when you transform him into Optimus. You'll see what I mean. Blue hands on Orion, not blue hands on Optimus. You do have blue right there on the ball joint which the ball joint itself is actually red, but the thigh part is blue. You do have silver right there on the rest of the thigh. And then from the knees down, it is painted in blue, as you can see, along with the silver trimming right there to give it more detail. But all in all, on the back, you do have the cable, like I said. But from the front, he looks amazing he looks like how a Ryan pack should look um i know that they came out with a two pack of cybertronian optimus and orion i like how it looks but then again i wouldn't mind it's you know from titan's return so this is from power of the primes so you do get some possibility out of him as you can see right there Hey, looks good like that. With the legs, you do have more than 90 degree angle for the front kick. He does have right there, unless you bring it out. And then there we go. You can get a 360 turn at the hip, as you can see. And then right here, you can... Oop, popped right off. <laughs> but then, like I was just going to say, you can turn this... 360 as well as you're gonna see right here 360 and then right there bend at the knee about that much uh, About 90 degree doesn't go forward any so you do have that you do have this you do have the Kick to the side the toes do go this way and that way as I said before and then the wheels do still turn, even though they'd be kind of weird looking. The hands do not go anywhere, all except for down. But hey, you can have him act like he's missing a hand or whatever. Um, then the shoulders, we do have that far up, but it does do a 360. At the bicep, you do have a 360 as well. At the elbow, you do have a 90 degree and more than 90 degree because it's also on the double hinge joint, basically. So you do have that. You can bend it back because of it being on that. And then the head is on a ball joint, so you can have him look down. You can have him look up that far unless you... Eh. It's because of the spot for the trailer it prevents them from looking up any further now if you take like a Dremel tool and cut that off then hey that's more power to you but if you do that then you can have him look up more you do have a little tiltage up in there but other than that that's all you got unless you just unhinge that and be all like hey I messed up here <laughs> Now, let's get on to the transformation. I'm going to push him to the side for now. And get to the trailer here. 
Now another thing with the trailer, I had a gun right here like so at the beginning. If you don't want it to be there, which you would use these pegs to peg in right here and there. So, or you can take them apart like I have on the thumbnail and just put them in right there, like so. And you can even have little Titan Masters stand right there, you just peg them in and they can just be standing right there on him. If you want, that's the thing that you can do if you want. But let's go on ahead and put his Ion Blaster back together, like so. And let's go on ahead and start on this real quick. First things first, we're gonna untap that and that. That's what I normally do. And then what I do next is gonna be untapping this part. And you're gonna do that on the other side as well. And hey, you can see through to the other side. There goes Orion. But you're gonna wanna make sure that when you transform Optimus back to this, that the legs are pointing kind of more at an angle like that. Otherwise, the trailer's not gonna go together like it needs to. The next thing next is what I normally will do is go on ahead and do it like that to make it easier to work with. And then what I normally do is go on ahead and bring these out. Bring this part down like so. And then bring this around like so. Rotate this. So this is going to cover the tires here. Like so. And then go on ahead and rotate it all the way down. And then you're going to realize that there's this little spot here that this tab here will tab into. You just have to make sure you fold it all the way over, and there we go. So there goes one leg, and then just go on ahead and do that with that foot, and repeat the other side just the same way, like so. Like I said, spot for the tab to tab into is right there. So you just bend it all together, like so. Mine's kind of stiff still. Bring the foot on down. And then what you're going to do is rotate up to the top part. Bring it on over. What I do now is just bring this part up to where you can see it's going to tab in right there. So what you do, so like in this spot, it's going to go right in there with this tab. Going to tab it right in. And there we go. Rotate this whole section down like so. And give me just one second to raise this. So let's go on ahead. And there we go. And what you're going to want to do now is go on ahead and rotate this whole spot here. And you're going to see that this folds into right there. So what you're going to want to do, go on ahead, there we go, and then put them back down like so. Bring this whole arm down from the shoulder. This part here folds down, repeat it on the other side, so bring this on up, bring it on around, and bring this part down, and there we go. And the next thing's next. It's the smokestack for the shoulders. Bring that part up. Bring this part up. Turn him around. And there we go. Now I noticed that a couple other reviewers were saying how off-center the Autobot logo is. And I never realized it until I watched a couple other reviews. And I have to agree. It's off-center. So what I might do is just remove it. I don't know if I'm going to replace it later on with some repro labels or not. Um, something with these. I don't mind these stickers being there along with these ones right there. But hey, we have that together now. 
let's go on ahead and move him out of the way. And let's move to this guy right over here. Let's bring him back up. And I have meant to show you guys the size of this guy is compared to other guys. So let's move him real quick. Let's go ahead and bring him on up again for one more time. Let's adjust this camera real quick. And let's show how he is compared to other figures. Here he is next to a Voyager class Grimlock. So as you can see, he is about the same exact height as you can see. Here he goes with a Deluxe class Optimus Primal basically. Which is from the Lido class Optimus Primal. Or as you can say, Optimal Optimus, you know, the Lido class, but this would be the same type of deal. They're, these two are an evolution. So they're side by side. He's taller and it's more of a Voyager class. He's more of a Deluxe class. Here he is next to Voyager class Optimus Prime from Siege. So there he goes next to him, as you can see, just about the same height. And then here he goes with the other Voyager size class from the Lido class Galaxy upgrade Optimus Prime, but the without all the upgrades. So let's move him over a little bit. So there you go, even though like Optimus Primal is more of a deluxe class, he is more of a Voyager class figure when you have him in this state. So all these are Voyager classes and he is like him, you transform him into a leader class. Same thing with him, you transform him into a leader class as well. but. Let's go on ahead and go to the next spot for this, which will be transforming him into that. So let's go on ahead and get him transformed to the Lido class Optimus Prime. So first things first, let's go on ahead and put these back like so. And then what we're gonna do is go on ahead and open up this, turn this around. Like so, so his head is going to be turned around. You can do it before or after you pull it down. Bring both this head on out with me. I usually have to push on the head. And then as you can see, you can see the back of the matrix, the leadership. Bring this head on down like so. Bring it back up with the chest piece. And then what you're going to want to do is take this, unhinge it, bring the arm around so it's going to be like that. Oh, actually, no, we're going to keep the arm like so, but what we're going to do is do like that. So what you're going to want to do, bring the hand on down, and then just bring the arm up like so. And then what you're going to do here is rotate the legs like so. Fold the feet in like so. Bring the legs on up. And there we go. So now you have his legs up here like so. There's a you know, kibble from... Orion packs. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and grab the rest of the body. You know it's a flying torso. And what you're gonna wanna do is go to the back here. And let me raise this up real quick. So let's go ahead and raise it up. And as you can see now all this right here is all hollowed out and that's for this part to go right on in 
like so. So if you're looking at it from the front, it's gonna go in just like so. And you're gonna push until you hear it click. Like that. And there we go. And if you're gonna turn him into the truck mode or Orion Pax mode, what you're gonna wanna do is it's locked in place now. When you push him in, he's locked. Once you hear that click, it's locked in. What you're gonna have to do to release that lock is pull down on this and pull it straight back. Like so. As you can see, that's the locking mechanism right there. Simple and effective and it does its job. So if you don't pull down, you're gonna break that lock and he is not gonna stay in uh, the spot, the space that he's intended to. So, push him in till you hear that click. And there we go. So, here we have him. All fired up and ready to go. So, let's go ahead and take a quick look at how he scales with other primes of the leader classes and all of that. Here he goes with the previous one before this one, the leader class of Titan's Return. As you can see, pretty much the same height. Titan's Return is a little bit bulkier, as you can see. Here he is with the Siege Line Leader Class Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. As you can see, quite the size difference, unless you take in consideration of the backpack there with the guns. Um, yeah, a lot more height difference right there. And then here he goes with the leader class, Optimal Optimus, which is, you know, from Power of the Primes as well. Pretty much the same height as well. The big difference is the width because Optimal Optimus, which is Optimal Optimus Primal Evolution. And as you can see, the width of that. And then here he goes with Sieges Commander Class. Jet fire, as you can see, quite the height difference, and it fits quite nicely with that. So, so there goes all the size comparison. So, like for example, here he goes again with good old Dinobot Grimlock which would be a Voyager class. And then, you know, that's how he sizes with him. So Lido class, Voyager class, sizes pretty nicely together. Now for the details. There we go with the face. We do have a lighter shade of blue, same with the uh, Orion Pax figurine. It is blue right there, like the Sky blue, we do have the silver and the head crust. And then we do have the darker blue, which would be the Optimus Prime's regular shade of blue. And then as you can see, there's nice detail in the mouth guard right there. On the back, it is all blue. It is fastened in with a screw. And then for the mobility, the... Movability, you do have the full 360 on the ball joint there. You do have the looking straight forward. Can't go up, but can look down like, hmm, I'm thinking. Um, the chest piece, you do have the transparent blue. Cybertronian interpiece right there. You can still open this part up. 
and open this part up to get to the uh, matrix of leadership there. Close all that back up. You do have the red shoulders with the silver smokestacks. As you can see, silver on the outside part though. Would have been better if it was all red right there and on top. But hey, can't you get what you get. Silver right there, red right there. Now if you remember me saying, his hands are not blue if they're silver. Which, you know, like I said before, you get what you get. I mean, you can end up painting over it, but you'll have to find like the same exact shade of blue as these hands. See, like I said, blue hands on Iron Pax, silver on Optimus, eh. yellow right there on the waistline, silver abdomen part, red on the lower part, silver thighs, silver back part. Silver on the legs, on the sides and back, even on this part it's silver. Blue on the rest, you do have some stickers right there. And there along with on his arms. And then like I said before, the Autobot logo is way off center. They could have took two seconds just to make sure that it's centered correctly. I mean, if if you even look at Grimlock here, his is pretty well centered. And they could have even done like on the Titan's Return and just painted it on. Would have just been just as good if you ask me. Other than that, we do have a little bit of detail going on in the thighs and the stomach region, the hands. Like I said, could have been blue. They could have kind of fixed this, but then again couldn't because that's the outside of the trailer. But the inside could have been painted red to fit this. The back could have been painted red to match that. You do have the kibble of Orion Pax's legs on the back. So that is the backpack, the kibble, along with his arms. You can see them as well. Even if you straighten these out, you have a clear view of all of that. Um, On the feet, you do have this whole ride of emotion dingy, ride of motion. Um, for the arms, shoulders is 360, at the bicep it is 360, at the elbow you can go 90 degree, you can bring the shoulder out a little bit to have them be all like, yeah, don't even have to have it like that. The hands do not rotate does not move at all um, with the gun it does go right there so bing bing boom boom the legs does go back that far goes up that far the legs do bend at the knee at about a 90 degree you can do the splits with them though as well as you can see, the feet is on a hinge joint, so you can have them still do pretty nicely, stances and all that. All in all, he does have a G1 feel to him. I like it. I like how he looks in... Robot mode. He is very, very well designed look to him. Easy on the eyes, I guess you can say. Compared to like the masterpiece, which I don't have, he could fit in as 
you know, a very good collector's choice if you could get the correct repro labels to put on right there. Other than that, I'm not too upset about this purchase. I may end up later on down the road doing a repaint on him, I don't know. But one last thing, like I said, don't forget, pull this down to pull this out. And like I said before, you can take the matrix of leadership out. So there goes that one, and then here goes Optimal Optimus. It's just a little bit easier to get out, just like that. And what you can do, there's a little bit different for the container that goes in their respective chests and all that. You can pop this guy out, pop this one on out. And change them on over, like so. So that way, Optimus can have a different one. If you choose that he wants to have a different spark in him, basically. Like so. And then just close it on up. And as you can see, looks much different. Same thing with Optimal Optimus's. You can just swap it out like so. And there we go, we have that one in him, which actually, in my opinion, looks better because of the orange goes with that. But hey, that's all for Optimus Prime from Power of the Primes. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. Every subscription, every like will end up helping me in the long run. But for the LTE of this video, go right here. To subscribe, go right here. For the playlist of all my reviews, go down here. And for all the LTE playlist, it's right in this corner. And with that being said, see you guys next time on a new day with a new review. Bye.